Hello, I'm Vicki Fang. I am the author of the Layla and the Box series. If you're not familiar with these books, they are about a rock star slash inventor and her band of bots. And they help people that they meet at their shows with their awesome inventions, which also means that in every book, they do some coding. So I thought we could do a little coding activity that I put together that I think is a lot of fun we are going to code a musical instrument. And since we're making our own, that means we can make it sing or fart or <laughs> laugh. We can make it do whatever we want. So let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen. And for those of you who are not familiar, this is an online coding tool called Scratch. And if you don't have an account, it's really easy to set one up. And the project that I've set up for you is called Record Your Own Musical Instrument. So if you search for that, it's here by me, Fangmas. And if you click in, the great thing about Scratch is with any project that is out there, you can see inside to see how they built it or you can remix it, which means you can take it and change the code and make it your own which is what we're going to do today. So if you click the remix button here, now we are inside this project and we can mess around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how it works before we start editing it. So right now, if you click on the buttons on this stage, this is what happens. Okay, so you see, when I click a button, it makes a sound. Right now, the sound says, add a sound. Add a sound, so I think we should add some sounds. Um, a quick tour of Scratch, this is the stage. This is what we're coding, this is where all the action happens. And then down here are the sprites, and these are the actors that are on the stage. So you see all our buttons here. And then over here is the code. Now code is just a set of instructions that you're giving to the computer. So these are the instructions for the blue button. And if you read it, it says, when this spread is clicked, switch costume to blue down, start the sound, wait 0.5 seconds and switch the costume to blue up. Hmm, so let's see what that looks like. When I click this button, add a sound. Ah, it changes it to blue down. It's costume, so what it looks like. It plays the sound, it waits 0.5 seconds, and it goes back to blue up. Add a sound. Easy enough, right? So now all we're gonna do is change the sound that's on that button. So here, start sound. Instead of blue add a sound, I'm gonna record a new sound. Okay, so. La 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 la. All right, and you can see here I can drag to trim to just the part of the recording that I want. La, 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 la. I'm gonna have a singing button. So I can save that sound. I can name it. And if I go back to the code, so these are all the sounds for the blue button. I can go back to my code tab and select la 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 la. So now instead of, instead of playing the add a sound, it'll play this Let's see if it works. La, 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 la. And it works. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat this for each of the buttons. I'm gonna do it a little bit quickly, but you can always pause or rewind the video if you need to. So now I'm on the pink button. These are the instructions for the pink button, the code. I'm going to change the sound by recording something and I'm going to, I'm gonna make this one fart. <laughs> I'm sure you can make a better fart sound than me, but we have what we have, let's see. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. And then you can see you can make it louder or softer. Let's make it louder and put that on our button. Oh, I forgot to rename it, so I can always go back. You don't have to rename it, but it helps because otherwise you might forget what everything is. So I'm gonna name that fart. Back to my code and... All right. Green button, record a sound. Ha ha 
Okay, ha ha ha. Put that into the code, purple button. <laughs> so you can really, you can put anything you want. And I know you all are gonna have some creative ideas. Uh, what do I call that? Blah. Add a sound. Oh, it's still add a sound. So now I change it to blah. <laughs> And then last one, the orange one. Um, little drum solo there. Call that drum. Add that to my code. And now we have changed the sounds on all of our buttons. So it's time to test it out. So if you look up here, there's a button that will make your stage full screen. And then this green flag will start the whole concert. And I've put a little Easter egg in here. So extra bonus challenge, if you can dig around and find where I put the code for this, but let's get started. And here is our new musical instrument. <laughs> and that's it. So I invite you to make your own musical instrument. You can make it wacky or beautiful or silly, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. So have a good time coding, have fun exploring Scratch, and have fun making your own musical instrument. <laughs>